Hello, hello, beautiful being. Hello, and how are you? I decided that I was going to have fun today and come in and talk to you about the artificial intelligence program that I've been having fun with. It's so funny, it's created a bit of a love-hate thing I can see in the marketplace with some people trying very hard to convince you it's good and other people just as convinced that it's not so good. I was introduced to it in a beautiful way, a supportive and uplifting way, and that's how I've learned it. That's how I've moved myself towards knowing and understanding it more. And I wanted to show you that because I've created a lot of content over the years, a lot. And I know some of you have too with the different work that you do. So what can you do with that content? It's like it's old, but it doesn't have to be. It can help you with a carousel on Instagram. It can help you with a social post on Facebook or I don't know, a tweet. But having had that old information, it's not always something you want to work with. I know I don't because it's done, it's old. But there's always people who would like to look at that information. And for me, a carousel on Instagram is amazing in organizing my old information to help the people who want to see that. Because people see what they want to see, don't they? So what I wanted to do today was share my screen and show you one thing that I do with chat GPT. I call him in my head Charlie Chat because it's fun. It's fun. The biggest reason, before I do that, the biggest reason that I have had fun is because I put a reminder in my calendar to find other ways to use the chat. And when I'm in a content block, I've just taken something to the chat and said, what can you do with this? In my way, like whatever it was that I wanted to do at the time. So let me share my screen and I will show you what I do to make that work. We're just gonna share this part of the screen. Here we go. I'm to figure out if I should say the whole lot or not. Right, we'll just do that and see how we go. <laughs> okay, so we're sitting on the page of ChatGPT. I've already signed in. And what will happen if you do choose to use this, it'll ask you for your phone number and it wants to check who you are. And that's it. After that, all we do is press, see down here, I should probably have a highlight here. Bottom left corner, try ChatGPT. And it says, welcome to chat, log in. I do log in. I've already set it up, but you could sign up. And there's all my information there. And the password's disguised. So that's fine too, you can't see it. Can't pretend to be me with chat. <laughs> now there's some of my past that I have done. I've got to tell you about that. The sourdough bread recipe. I make sourdough every week. Some people with families make it every day. <laughs> and a friend who I gave some of my starter to. I just conversationalized, is that a word? Um, my method to her in a recording, just in an MP3, and I sent it to her. And in another sourdough group, a lady was kind of lost. And I know there's so many seeming rules and stuff about that, that I said to her, I would organize a recipe for her, what I do. So I actually took the MP3, and this is going past what we're doing today, but it just tells you what, we, what you can do. I took the MP3, I popped it into another AI called Otter, O-T-T-E-R, and for free, you can get MP3s transcribed. I took the transcription exactly how it was, and I fed it into Charlie Chat, and I said, can you make a recipe from this? He did, and with very few changes, just to make sure it read right, I had a recipe I could send him. Wow, I would have had to type all that up. That's what I mean about saving time. And um, anyway, I'm gonna go and do a new thing. So down here, this is where we can say hello. So what I'll do is I'll say hello, and you watch, something will come up, he will type to me. There you go, how can I help you today? So we'll just leave him there. 
and we're going to go over to something I've done on YouTube a while back, which really didn't get any. It was about choosing joy. <laughs> People get really weird about that. So here we are with one of my YouTube. This is under Linda, see here. And um, it's about how to bring more joy into your day. Okay, so this is what you would see if you opened it up in YouTube. And down here, there's three little dots. Can you see that? Three little dots. Press those three little dots. And right there, it says show transcript. Press. And the transcript comes up. You can see. Can you see that? It's terrible. Line by line. It's awful. <laughs> so we're going to go all the way to the end. Here we go. And we're going to take all of that. Are you ready? We're going to take all of that. And we're going to do something fun. Hang on, it's always there. It wasn't terribly long, but it's enough. It doesn't have too many words. I don't know if he's got a limit. Okay, so we're there. I do control copy, which is what I'm I'm on, not Apple, the other one, whatever that is. <laughs> and we go over to chat, where he opened. Hmm, there, that's where we are. And what I need to do is ask him, can you please use the transcript to create a, um, um, what do we want to create? A blog post? And then I'm pretty sure it's shift and enter. I forgot that, but I'll make sure now we'll do shift and enter. Here we go. See how it just did a line? If you do enter, it pushes it away and sends it to them. And then control V and all of that's there. Now I'll push enter and it will start pulling everything together. See that? Isn't it cool? It's taken my stuff. I remember while it's doing that, because it might take a little while. I remember listening to somebody go, oh, the children at school will cheat. And I'm like, oh, for goodness sake, teach them how to use it properly and ask them for their bullet points from the information that they put in. I mean, there's ways to teach kids how to use stuff that's going to be ahead of them. It's going to be around, isn't it? It's going to change. It's going to morph. It's going to do something. So here we go. So that's the article. You can copy and paste this. So let's go. I'll go back to the top. Gee, that didn't take very long. <laughs> Righty-ho. So at finding joy and loving yourself during the holidays, let's just go on it. I've got to do from the bottom up. I forgot that part. Yeah. And we'll just finish there. Control, copy, and we will open a Word document. And paste. How's that? Look at that. Now, what we need to do from here is we need to find ways to promote it. Hello, chat. Can you please use the following script to generate eight main bullet points? There you go. And then we copy and paste the script in again. It had a wee glitch. So you're just dealing with me and the glitch. <laughs> There you go. Here we go. Are you ready? Look at that. Now, do you know what you do with these eight main bullet points? You take them into Canva or your weapon of choice in that manner, and you make them an Instagram reel carousel. See? Isn't that wonderful? Now, what else did we use it for? You can use it to take random thought patterns that you might record while you're driving and put it in here and ask them to collate it into a document. There are so many places that you can go with this that are supportive of your work, that are not cheating, that are not depriving somebody else of knowledge, that are uplifting and definitely, as I said, supporting you in your work. So there you go. I'm going to stop screen sharing and come back to you here and say, thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you wanna know more about this, then you just actually need to type in 
chat GPT, I'm pretty sure that there's a ton. But some of the places I looked at were really, really serious. And I just thought, you know, everyday people need to know how it can help them. So have a look, test the new stuff, let yourself learn something. And if you've really not enjoyed this, you shouldn't have listened this far. <laughs> Lots of love and I will see you next time. Take care, gorgeous beings.